need to get together. The landlord shouldn't sit around waiting for the tenant to come and see them and hopefully the tenant's going to be okay and everything's going to be okay. And equally, the tenant should sit around hope, hoping, well, wow, uh, maybe the landlord's going to come and tell me that I don't have to pay the rent. Commercial rental, it's a big issue. Uh, a lot of the uh, businesses, particularly in shopping centres, are forced to open at the moment because shopping centres are open. They've got no foot traffic. Uh, they're, they're absolutely going out the back door in terms of finances. They're asking for a rental holiday. We know that tenants are going to get rental holidays in some states. Uh, that's going to be an issue with some landlords who, who've got mortgages on their properties. Uh, are we going to see some movement from the big commercial players here uh, to give business a go? Take a practical position. And th this is the position I'm taking. The practical position has to be this. I might have a mortgage. I've got to make payments to my bank. I might be able to get some relief from my bank under the, you know, the six-month um, hardship yes. rules, or, or I might, yes. whatever that relief is, I will collaborate with you, my tenant. Last thing I want to do is try to find a new tenant. I don't want to have to start finding new tenants in this environment or in the next environment for that matter either. You are a good tenant, assuming you are a good tenant. I want to do a deal with you, so let's collaborate. What can you afford to pay? Do you have, for example, a bank guarantee supporting your, your rent and or a, 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 a cash amount put up there or a bond for that matter? Would you Mr. Tenant, allow me to access part of that bond or and or that guarantee, which is usually backed by cash anyway. Uh, would you allow me access some of that to make good some of the rent that you can't pay at the moment? So these are just ideas, but they need to be shopped around and the two entities, the landlord and the tenant, need to get together. The landlord shouldn't sit around waiting for the tenant to come and see them and hopefully the tenant's going to be okay and everything's going to be okay. And equally, the tenant should sit around hope, hoping, well, wow, uh, maybe the landlord's going to come and tell me that I don't have to pay the rent. I mean, neither one are going to get together. And I mean, this is the, the great benefit of shows like your show, to be able to say to people, if you're listening, get together with the two parties, get together and work out a deal. There is cash laying around. Uh, uh, by the way, and in some cases, $250,000 that small business owners can get from banks, which is government guaranteed or half government guaranteed, maybe you could uh -huh. use some of the money to um, give to, give towards the um, landlord as a, a show of good faith in the beginning. Yeah, and don't be say, scared to pick up the phone. You, look, you're absolutely right, and uh, you are correct. There was legislation passed. It was amendment put forward, I think, by the Greens, but supported by Labor and others. It passed the New South Wales Parliament in relation to uh, commercial players and residential yep. renters. And it, and it means that you can't exercise uh, the, the rights to um, terminate a lease and uh, cause an eviction in simple terms. Yeah. And, and so that right. gives people security of tenure, at least to have a roof over their head if they're a tenant. But it means the business doesn't have to move the, remove their stock and all the other shop fittings, etc. But they've just got to get together. We're, look, we're all in it together. And you're right, this is not the right time to be looking for a new tenant if your tenant was to walk.